Hey guys, my name's Janelle McClarty, the owner of EncoreWebsites.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your documents, files from your Mac. So this is a MacBook I'm on right now, MacBook Air. So from your Mac computer to your iPhone. So I got a question about this earlier today and I decided to make a video on it because yeah, I think there's a lot of people out here who don't know like the easy way to do this because up until recently, <laughs> I've been like WhatsApping photos to myself and files um, from my desktop or emailing it to myself to get it to my phone when there's like a simple way if you have um, Apple products. Um, so I'll give you an example. Um, I'm on my Instagram right now because I'm actually working on it and posting every day and that requires me to edit pictures. So I'll edit them on my computer and then I want to get it from my computer really quickly to my phone. So instead of emailing the picture to myself to get it on my phone so I could post it, I'm going to show you what I do. So here's the picture. Well, it's this one that I just edited. Um, let me open it up and this works for files that are photos or documents, um, video as well. This method's going to work for video as well. Cause I used it on this video too, but let me show you. It's the same process. So you pick the file, you right click it, then you go down to share. And then there is an option called airdrop. Um, to enable airdrop, you have to ensure that your Bluetooth on your phone is on. So I'm just going to show you and switch over to my phone screen right now. So make sure that your airdrop's on, not your Bluetooth. So I'm going to go to air. Drop, boom, and then, yeah, so I just hover down, clicked airdrop, and then I have to make sure that it's on, but I usually put it on contacts only because I don't want, when I'm walking around, like, basically anyone can airdrop something to you by accident, um, and I don't want to put it on off because I use it so often, and a lot of my friends have um, Apple products, so I'll just, like, instead of when I'm sending them pictures or stuff, I'll just quickly airdrop it to them. So make sure that's on in your settings right here. Go to airdrop. Boom. You can just search the way I did. And then once I'm going to go back to my screen. So once you hover over share, you select airdrop. It's going to give you a prompt. It's going to pick up the closest device to you, which is right here. That's my last name, McClarity. I'm going to hit that. Then jumping over to my phone, boom, it's there. <laughs> like the picture is there. So remember, this is a picture you're looking for. This is a picture that's there and it's in my photos. So I'm going to show you that it's in my photos. See right there, just recently airdropped. So that's it. And then if you want to do it vice versa, let's say I want to take, um, let's use a video now. So let's say I want to take this video and send it to my Mac, we're going to hit this bottom arrow button right there. And then you see the airdrop button right here, hit that. And then there's my MacBook Air. Don't ask me why it says Chris. I keep, I keep trying to switch that. It doesn't work. But anyways, click switch and then jump over. And here it is. Here's the video. It just automatically ended up on my desktop. Sorry about the audio, but yeah, it's the whole video. Perfect. So that is how you get files easily from one Apple device to the next. All you have to do is use the airdrop feature. Um, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to 
Oh, yeah. If you do have any questions, sorry, I got distracted. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channels. Um, I have this one, Encore Websites, where I do a lot of tutorials, anything that's web related. Then I have my other YouTube channel, Janelle McClarty, where I do um, a lot of marketing tips, business tips. It's for it's more business related on top of just web design. It's just general business. Um, yeah, even a bit of vlogs there that I'm going to start doing. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> trying to grow my account so yeah thank you so much for watching look out for some more videos that are helpful like this and have a great rest of your day